Hey guys, it's Savannah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you guys with me as I uh, go through like my day-to-day -day life at Wounded Warrior Battalion. Quickly want to interject this little photo in here just to show you guys what my injury basically is. So I have what is called bilateral pars defects. I have associated spondylolisthesis and a degenerative disc disease. Um, so basically on the left is a normal spine, on the right is my spine, just so you guys can kind of see. This battalion is different than every every other battalion um, in the entire Marine Corps fleet. At this battalion, we have both Marines that are injured physically and also hurting mentally. And Wounded Warrior is just a really great place for Marines to be that really need to be here, that really need the resources that Wounded Warrior has in order to make a difference in that Marine's life and get them back to a functioning level before they go back out into the world. And that's why I'm really proud to be a part of this battalion. It's helped me a lot personally. And today I'm going to take you guys with me on kind of like a day-to-day life tour while I'm at Wounded Warrior Battalion. So right now I'm headed to morning formation. We basically have like this still in the fight brief where the command like briefs everybody on like upcoming events and um, stuff you have to be compliant with and um, just all these different things. They just basically update you and it's also for accountability as well to make sure nobody died over the weekend. Let's take y'all with me. So this morning I got a few things to knock out. I got to fill out my weekly schedule. So that's something that I have to turn in. So like any appointments for uh, resiliency or any classes or anything that I have scheduled today, uh, not today, for the entire week, you basically like put on a sheet of paper or you print out a sheet of your appointments and just so they know where you are at all times. Uh, so like, I, I forgot to mention, if you just see it in future videos, just ignore it. But basically, like during the earthquakes that happened two weeks ago, all of like my bolts in this like top piece right here got loose. I guess it happened to other jeeps as well. So then, like I went over a speed bump the day after the earthquakes, and it literally just like popped off. And like I already know, anything that has to do with jeeps costs an arm and a leg every single time, like without a doubt. So I just been putting it off. I don't want to deal with it yet. I need to, but yeah. So a little rundown for today. So right now I'm headed to the still in the fight free, like 0730 right now. I'm gonna get there by like 0745. And the still in the fight free is at 08. You know, always gotta be a little early to everything. It's still big Marine Corps. And then after that, I'm gonna go PT with some of the trainers. Physical therapy at 11. I have some other appointments today. I just forget which ones I have. I'm gonna have to look at my phone. All right, I'm filling out my weekly schedule. Basically like listing out your appointments and stuff. I have appointments with the VA this week. Um, physical therapy, case management. I have like warp compliancy. So basically what that means here is you have to work with these special trainers to like help you adapt um, your fit, to adapt your fitness to your new limited abilities. So I'm about to go do that right now. I'm gonna change and do some workout clothes and yeah. So I'm vlogging with my phone right now because I left my camera in the car. Wearing my tracksuit is not a normal day-to-day -day thing for me. Most days, you know, if I do have appointments, especially off base or down in Balboa in San Diego, which is about like an hour and a half drive from here, I'll end up like wearing civilian attire. But while I'm at Wounded Warrior, especially for formations and stuff, I am in the green on green tracksuit. Only for special occasions do I wear camis because wearing the heavy steel toe boots and wearing my belt in my, uh, my trousers really does hurt my lower back um, where my fracture sites are. So, yeah. And before I joined the Marine Corps, I was like, oh, these are so cool. Like, I can't wait to have these. Girl, you look like a pickle. A whole lot of pickle. I'm honestly going to get some new um, trousers for these little sweat pants because I lost the string. Thank you. 
these guys to some of the trainers. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if people are comfortable with it, so I'm just gonna go with that. I'm married so I do live off base I do not live in the barracks here they are very very nice barracks though a lot of handicap room barracks because there are a lot of people that are amputees people that are dealing with serious mental disorders their wounded warrior is not just for the physically hurt it's for the mentally hurting as well it's an interesting community because you can identify with a lot of these people and like how you how everybody feels um, because it's hard to deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis and and deal with the chronic chronic pain every single day and having people there that just can feel you and and can understand you know what you're going through it it, it really means a lot to me i feel like i have a support group whereas at my other unit i didn't feel like i really had so i really i, I appreciate being here and the opportunities that i have Absolutely. So warp is like your physical bodily requirements. They want you to stay in shape and find ways to stay in shape and fi find ways around your injury to, you know, stay healthy, stay fit as much as possible and just coping with it. And then you also have like spirit loo, uh, where basically you have to make sure that you're doing something to keep your spirits up. So for me, it's videography, photography, YouTube, um, which is a big reason why I'm doing this as well. And um, I actually help out the unit and stuff with social media, getting some content up for them and bringing some awareness to the battalion in general. So I, I, I enjoy that a lot. And you know, that's what I'm gonna be doing when I get out <laughs> is photography and videography, uh, specifically wedding, uh, doing weddings. It's something that with my injury, it's doable. All the days to forget headphones. Today had to be the day. Well, crap. All right, so this is the Hope and Care Center. Basically, it's where I have a lot of my mental health appointments, my therapist, um, and also where I do my war compliancy. This is where the gym is at. This is where a lot of our other events are at in this little like separate building right here. As you walk in, it's a really, really nice building. So normally somebody's here like sitting here waiting to greet you. Um, he's really, really nice. And yeah, so this is where the gym is back here. I'm gonna show you all. How are you? Good, We're vlogging today. So this is the the big gym. It's a really great facility we have here. And there's a lot of Marines working out right now. So whenever you come and do warp, you have to come and check in on these little sheets right here. And just sign in. Little we'll sign in sheet. So basically like when we check in with the coach, um, we'll put like rank, last name, first name, and then like your activity. Um, and like what you'll be doing today. So today I'll be biking and doing some strength training for a freaking end. Oops. Um, and then I got in at 0914. So. Good morning. I am Staff Sergeant Michael Pride, and uh, I'm here at Wonder Warrior Battalion West. I'm the Warrior Athletic Reconditioning Program Liaison. Uh, it is my job to make sure that the Marines are compliant in their body line of operation here at Wonder Warrior Battalion West. <laughs> Uh, I help out with track and field as well. Uh, I get Marines pre uh, prepared for the Warrior Games uh, that we have annually uh, in the summertime. And uh, hopefully that, that helps the Marines out with their recovery and the things that they're going through. Hi, my name is Brad Johnson. I'm the cycling coach here at Wounded Warrior Battalion West. Going out on a ride here pretty soon with some of my Marines. Anyways, I work with uh, wounded, ill, and injured Marines and sailors. Uh, who come here for their recoveries. It's various sports uh, that they can participate in. Obviously, I'm the cycling coach. We have swimming, we have shooting, we have archery, we have seated sports, so there's plenty of things for them to do here. A small part of what goes on. The cycling program is pretty big, pretty popular. I, I love it. It's, it's a lot of fun and it's, a, it's rewarding for me to give back to the people that have uh, sacrificed so much for their country. Hi, my name is Sergeant Leary. I've been with Wounded Warrior Battalion since September of 2018. Back in September, I got into a car accident. I broke both my legs. After a brief stint in a rehab facility, I made my way over to Wounded Warrior Battalion. Since I've been with Wounded Warrior Battalion, uh, the war program here has really allowed me to get back in shape by staying in my means. I've been cycling with Brad, the, the warp coach here, for about five or six months now. When I started, I was still recovering from my, my leg injuries, so we started out slow and easy on a hand cycle. Uh, as I've progressed through my recovery, I've been able to graduate to the recumbent bike. 
um, and it's just allowed me to stay active, um, keeps me out of the barracks and, and keeps me active and it's just been absolutely great towards my recovery. Hi, my name is Michael Kleiner. I am the Water Sports Specialist at Wounded Warrior Battalion West. I've been here for eight years, uh, predominantly doing swimming and surfing. I really enjoy uh, the swimming aspect of it too because we get to go to Warrior Games and coach uh, the athletes there and see them go from not even being able to swim to winning medals on the podium and it's such a great experience to watch someone utilize swimming as uh, a way to rehab themselves from an injury and use it as a lifetime activity that they can uh, always have with them throughout their entire life. Uh, good morning, my name is Lance Corporal Kraft. I'm here at Wounded Warrior Battalion West. I've been here roughly three months. My, I had been in the fleet for about five, six months before my body started to like deteriorate, so I wasn't able to do my duties. My body just started failing from kidney failure, heart attack. I mean, I've had a whole bunch of organ failure. Um, since I've been here, I mean, a lot of people have helped me. Like, I mean, the whole, the whole key here is here to like help you through process getting out or making transition back into the fleet. For me, it'd be more beneficial for me to go outside to find civilian work, but the whole process here, I mean, they help you. I mean, they get you, your mindset, your body set, everything's ready for it. Um, I mean, coming to the gym, I mean, especially, it's just like one of those things that helps a lot, helps a lot of people. I mean, the people you meet here are just like, they're nice, they're friendly, they're always out there to help you from giving you rides somewhere to helping you with your process. I mean, they're always here for you. And I mean, it's a great place. All right, so I didn't actually have time to film myself working out because um, I was busy getting some B-roll for everybody else. And also because I have physical therapy to go to, so I'm gonna hop in my car and go to the Naval Hospital and I'll probably like bring in my camera, maybe not, maybe, maybe not, and like film some of that physical therapy and stuff to show you guys like what I do, um, just to like help help with pain, especially with my sciatic pain. Um, physical therapy is great and having them like readjust my hips and stuff, so. Quick, but the Naval Hospital here is just beautiful. I'm in physical therapy right now. I'm on this like little stationary bike thing. Looks like this. It's really good just to like keep my muscles, um, you know, engaged and built even with a back injury because I can't do legs. It sucks. <laughs> like bike is as close as I get to doing legs or stuff in the pool, you know, like a little old lady and doing the little aerobics classes. Yes, I do those. I'll have to video it. It's pretty funny. It's just like my young ass with <laughs> all these old ladies and they're so sweet. I didn't bring my camera in, so I'm sorry if this is a little shitty quality, but it's my problem. With a messed up back, I have spondylolisthesis fractures. I've got a messed up knee, um, partially torn lateral collateral li ligament, bursitis, and all that crap. So um, here, I do a lot of biking. I, I should be doing more swimming. I do resistance band training and light weight training. And the trainers here just really help you um, adapt to your new uh, limitations. All right, so now that I am home, um, everything's kind of settled, you know, I got my coffee. <laughs> Basically, as soon as I get home, I will download any existing SD cards I have from that day or whatever footage that I'm going to be editing to my computer, um, kind of get everything set up because if I don't do that, then um, I'll either forget <laughs> or, you know, it's just, it just, it just doesn't get done. It doesn't matter like how much work I have, I always have to stay on top of it or else I'll fall behind because I have such a quick turnaround time. Obviously, since I'm getting out of the Marine Corps, I have to have a, a plan, you know, for when I get out. And I have, you know, my own businesses that I run and I'm gonna keep doing that. So I have my own personal training business. It's online right now. Um, that's what I did before the Marine Corps actually. And um, it's so very rewarding just to like, I just love helping people. Well, that's what a lot of my, my everything is centered around. So yeah, so I have my personal training business. And then I also have my photography, videography, cinematography business that you guys see here on YouTube. Um, and then I also have a social media consulting business where you know businesses will reach out or have me run their Instagrams or run their Twitter or you know help them create a YouTube and stuff like that and um, just help them get off the ground um, with this you know social media age. You know me being a millennial. So if you guys didn't know. Um, I'm currently on a med board to get out of the Marine Corps. I 
Hey, obviously from the title of this video. So I have injuries that I've sustained during my enlistment that have rendered me unable to fulfill my duties as a Marine, you know, being able to do the PFD, the CFT, carry a rifle, go to the gas chamber, stuff like that. So like with my back, I can't run. Um, I can't lift heavy weights, very light weights and I'm in constant pain. I was actually diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I didn't even know that I was until I went to the VA appointment and they're like, yeah, you have it. Like it's all documented here. Nobody fucking told me. So when I say work, um, I do a lot of the work, work from my phone. So two of my businesses are strictly from my phone and that's personal training and um, my social media management. Then I have my one that is in person. That's my photography business. That doesn't require <laughs> as much energy as you might think. Even on my bad days when I have to use my cane, which is, you know, few, it just, it just depends on the week and like how I'm feeling. And I hate showing it because I just, I don't like identifying as, you know, broken. I just, for me, it like helps me to see myself as healthy, like mentally, even if I'm not. <laughs> That probably isn't the healthiest thing in the world, but it's so, like the reason I use that cane is because sometimes my back is like horrible, horrible, horrible. Like I'm, I'm normally in the pain range from like, my normal pain range is like six to eight. But on those days that I'm a nine, I need that thing. M maybe even an eight. So like when my sciatic is really bad, like I need this support from a device to like help me like stand because sometimes it will make my knee like super weak and it will just like kick out from under me and I will literally eat asphalt. I'm not even kidding. I have before, it's very embarrassing and I don't wanna do that ever again. So that is why that is in the picture. Also, it just kinda helps me get around and stay balanced. But physical therapy has helped me you know, regain my core strength through different kinds of exercises because you can't, I can't really, I can't bend, twist and all that crap. I have to be very careful um, because I will, end, like, I will end my ass in bed, like straight up, like I will be stuck in bed for days if I move the wrong way. And that's what's so scary. <laughs> With photography and stuff, it's, it's been a wonderful, wonderful outlet for me to be able to express my creativity and share my gift with people and it's a huge love of mine, seriously. And I'm able to combine, you know, all my different loves for things, so like with fitness and <laughs> with fitness and photography and social media management, I can do all three. Like I can make different videos about fitness with my cinematography skills and then market that video as well. So it's kind of cool how I have all these different skills that you know go hand in hand and I'm able to apply it to life. And I notice I, I'm a huge people pleaser and I, I've gotten better at it over the years but I shouldn't care what the hell people think. But while you're a Marine and in the Marine Corps, and people's opinions of you can screw you over like not just like career-wise but like lifetime wise I have to always be thinking about that and making sure that um, I say things the right way I do things the right way and it's frustrating in my normal day-to-day -day life at when you were battalion um, I'll go to whatever formation I have to in the morning and then go to those follow up appointments throughout the day and then workshops um, and stuff if they have them. So they have like family readiness workshops where they help you work with your family, uh, preparing for you to get out and like financial courses and stuff. So like, there's always something going on. Oh yeah, so like normally on a day-to-day -day basis, I will have between maybe three to five appointments. So if I was in the, in the fleet, um, as a normal, you know, fleet Marine, and I had five appointments, I wouldn't be giving any contribution to my unit whatsoever. So it's shitty to like realize that you're not used to the team, but at Wounded Warrior, I'm given an opportunity to prepare for my exit from the Marine Corps because I'm ultimately getting separated or retired. I don't know what my findings are yet. Um, we'll see. I don't know. So I have appointments that range from pain management, physical therapy, I have family medicine appointments, I have neurosurgery appointments, I have orthopedic appointments, I have uh, massage therapist appointments, I have acupuncture appointments, I've got, there's a lot that I gotta be doing to like keep up with everything 
um, and also mental health appointments, which are the most um, important to me. Obviously, the physical ones, but mental can really take a toll, and it did for a long time with me. So overcoming that, you know, and finding balance somewhat again and be able to function um, with medication right now. So like, I, I, I hope to get to a point with my mental health where I won't need medication. But right now, I, I do. Like, I have to be honest with myself, and I, I need it. <laughs> control my panic attacks and the way I react to things um, emotion wise I don't feel completely emotionless so I'm hoping that I can stay that way I just I don't want to go up uh, any more doses so like I was on Wellbutrin I was on uh, Zoloft so Zoloft made me gain like 30 pounds it was horrible horrible and then Wellbutrin I'm allergic to found that out the hard way I like have all these marks up my up and down my arms they're finally healing like right now but literally like I broke out in hives like bad and then right now I'm on Lexapro and Lexapro is doing a pretty good job um, controlling like depression and stuff so my depression and yeah you know just this entire video is just to show you guys like there's just more to meets the there's more that meets the eye than what you see, you know, in a typical Instagram post. And just, I wanted to share, you know, a bit of, you know, my life. And I don't, I don't know if you guys really care to like watch this kind of video. I think I will address mental health and all of that in a completely separate video. Um, Cause that's just a whole nother tangent. So this video was just a day in the life. I wasn't trying to go too deep, but I went deep and yep. We're here now. <laughs> so if I get home before Hank does, um, Hank is always asleep. Watch. <laughs> I love you. Oh, here they go. <laughs> Come, kisses. <Ooh. laughs>